Hi everybody, I'm Virginia over at Celebrations in the Kitchen and I just have a few instructions for your princess cookie kit that you ordered. Okay, and I'm just going to show you some of the pieces here. You get the towers, you get the castle part, which is four sides, and the rooftop. You get what they call an embattlement, that's for the top, over here. And you get all this colored icing. And we have pictures online of what it looks like, or you can do your own thing. But I just wanted to show you the difference between our royal icing. Royal icing is a type of icing that you use on gingerbread houses. It's soft when you go to use it, but that will get hard as it dries. And that's what keeps the castle together. So you're going to get a bag of white icing like this, and this is what you put your castle together on. You got the gold board, okay, and you see the sides. When I made the cookies for you, I put where the windows are. So you could do what I did, and I laid all the pieces out, and I thinned out some royal icing in a cup, which I gave you cups, and I gave you paint brushes. And I painted the pieces before I'm putting it together because it's just a little bit easier than that. And the kids can help you do this. It's very easy. You squeeze the gold into the cup and you're gonna add a little bit of water to it. Maybe just a drop or two. You don't wanna add too much, okay? You mix it up with the paintbrush, okay? And it's a little thicker than your regular house paint, okay? You just take some on the brush, and what you're going to do is just paint your pieces, just like I did. So anybody could do this. You paint the cookie. It's really nice and easy to use. And then you let them dry, and it'll be easier when you put the castle together. So to put the castle together again, use the white royal icing. This brown is used to put stonework on the castle and outline your windows. And the green is going to be used to put some vines up the side and you get green for the whole base over here and I sent a spatula like this for you so that you can spread out the green and there's flowers also so you can put flowers on and I sent a sprinkle mix there's a whole bunch of stuff in there for you to use on the castle so I just want to show you when you put it together this is going to be the front of the castle so that side has nothing on it okay that's plain so I leave that off till the end the three sides already have the windows drawn, but we needed a door on the front and that's why I didn't put anything on. You're also getting a sheet with instructions and there's another video on YouTube that shows you how to put a house together. You're gonna to take the white royal icing and just line the bottom and you're gonna go up the side. You're gonna make sure your windows are facing down like that and you're just gonna stick it together. This is like the cement that keeps the castle together. Your front piece now is gonna go over here. Same thing, you're going to go over here, wherever you need it to stick to the hat, to the castle. I'll put a little bit under here. Oh, don't worry about that, it comes off. Just do it again, right onto the cookie. Over here, and that's gonna be the front. The door is gonna go on, but first I wanna put the roof on. So here's the roof, the roof is just gonna sit. It's very easy, you don't have to put two sides to it like a gingerbread house. It's just gonna lay on here. So what I'm gonna do is just line the top here, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna place the roof on here and just let that sit, okay? I'm gonna put the front door on. This is the door, the big piece. I sent you one of these and these little guys, these were windows, but because I took a cookie cutter and cut out the windows, you don't really need to, but if you wanted to, you can glue windows here if you want to decorate them in different colors. And there's also something else you're going to use the window for, I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to put some royal icing on the door. I'm going to find the middle of the side here and just stick it right there, okay? And what I've done is I set the castle back on the board so that you have room over here so you can make a pathway later on. And with these tall towers, these towers are going to get stuck right like this to the side of the castle. Now you see what I did here is I started to do some stonework over here. And I'll show you how I did that. After I painted it gold and I painted the tip pink, okay, I take the bag of icing and I snip a small hole. You always want to start out small, don't snip it too large, okay? And then you hold it perpendicular, straight up and straight down. And wherever you want it to look, you just make these blobs that look like stones. Remember, it's a medieval castle. Nothing was perfect. And you go around and do your stonework. 
You can make as many as you want, little ones, big ones, like that. You could also take another color if you wanted to take the green or if you wanted to take the gold. You could go like this and just draw like I did. You'll see the picture. Okay? One other thing, I sent you a little bottle of this spray glitter. It's edible and you just shake the little bottle and you point it where you want and you spray it. Can you see how pretty that looks? It's edible gold tinker dust, they call it. Okay, so you can wait till the end and spray the whole castle or you could spray each piece. Okay, so you're gonna have that also. Now the embattlements, you're getting four of these. They go on the top like this. There's two, I only have two here, sides like this and the back. So I'll put one over here to show you what it's gonna look like. All right, and it's gonna just stay right there. And you see the white icing that's sticking out? You can just use your finger to flatten it. And then later on when it dries, I'm gonna take my gold paint that I made over here. And these cups have covers with them. So if you don't finish the whole house one day, you could cover everything and come back to it the next day. You'll be able to just paint that and cover that over when it dries, okay? You also got three towers, they're smaller. These are the towers that are gonna get glued to the top of the castle. Now this is when we use these little cookies because I'm gonna break it, break it in half. You could eat half, save half. But you want the towers to stand upright. And so you're gonna put some royal icing where you want the tower to stand. Put the tower right in front of it. And then behind it, you're gonna take this cookie to give it some backing, lean it on. I'll show you what it looks like. Put a big blob of icing over there. You have the cookie there, lean it into the tower just like that, and it's going to dry. And remember, you're gonna have another embattlement over here. And you have three towers, different sizes. You can put them wherever you want. Take another cookie. You can break, you have about eight or nine of these cookies, so there's enough to put windows on and enough to stick these pieces together. Now I smudged the little stonework because I didn't let it dry, but you will let yours dry, okay? And these are going to go up like that. All right, and those are that you do that at the end. These large towers are going to be glued right to in the front, like this. And then you're going to have two in the back, and the back ones, because you want to be able to see them, are going to go off like this. So you're gonna put the icing right back here, rub it, push it into there, that'll stay. And those are gonna be the last things to go on. Because now, when you look over here, and I want the door to be brown, so you could either paint the door first, or you could just use this as a paintbrush in itself and spread the icing like this. And in the instructions, I told you, when you do the door, you want to actually go up here and make this part of the door so it looks like a big old castle door. Come down on the side. Okay. Come down on this side and straight across. And you want to give that some time to dry because before you put a little window here and a lock over there so you want to do piecework like that. When that dries, then you could take your green, if you wanted to draw some vines over here, and you could go like this. You could actually cover this. You could come down here. You can imagine they had vines growing on their castles. And then, with a different color bag, I didn't make a pink bag. I'll show you what the pink will look like. And you take some pink icing, and I sent you a pink bag, so don't worry. You would actually just touch this with a little bit of pink, and it would look like there were little buds on the vine. Okay, so you could decorate it that way. All right, and then you're gonna have another tower, remember, on this side. 
Okay? Let's turn it around and look at the windows. Here are your windows. If you wanted to, you can outline the window in brown. It would just come up this way. So you're drawing a line. And then you could draw a line in the center, make it look like a window, like that, all right? And then again, with the vines, you can make the vines come up the side of the castle, go across like that, come up the side here. You could draw them in brown. And when I said green on the board, later when everything dries like that, you're going to do this and squeeze out the green on the board then you're going to take your spatula. It's a little spatula like this, and you're just going to spread this on the board right up to the castle. So you can cover the white on the side all the way to the edge. You do it in the front, covering that brown. And you can refer to the pictures online and it'll show you how to do a pathway like this. And then you could do stonework on this and it's all dry hard. And then I also gave you some royal icing flowers so you could put flowers on the screen or flowers lining the pathway to the castle, okay? And I give you specific instructions. Don't be intimidated by the instructions. It's two pages. Just read it through once and you'll get the gist of it. It's your castle. You make it the way you want it to look. All right. And then remember the gold glitter spray and you could just spray everything really pretty. It'll shine nice. All right. Like that. And you'll have a gorgeous castle. The castle will last about five weeks if you can hold out that long and not eat parts of it. But enjoy and have fun. If you have any questions, email us and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.